Warehouse space is wide open for automation. I think they're big impacts and they're things that JR prides themselves on being able to solve and those are things typically on the introduction or exit, I'll call it, of, of an overall system. Getting product off of the shipping container. Palletizing is a big one. Depalletizing product, typically still very human driven processes and between the robotics advancements and the AI advancements we're seeing, it's a very feasible solution that we can get within the automation space today. The first thing that they need to do is they need to look at their pain points. What is it that's giving them problems? Where do they need help? Where do things need to be improved? The second part of that is, is once you say, okay, here's what I want to solve. This is what I need to fix. There's where my problems are, is what automation can do. And it's very important to research that automation so you know what the limitations are, what it can do, what it can do well, and what it cannot do. The biggest challenges I think the customer face have to do with the environment that they're in. It's constant demands for that short-term relationship, that short-term solution, that short-term demand on what does tomorrow bring. And our hope is to help them think a little bit farther in advance and understand how automation can help solve that as well as the next steps of six months, a year, two years down the line. When you are automating stuff, there are, there are other things you have to consider, like what is it you're trying to move? As an example, if you've got a very heavy, hard to pick up case of two liter bottles, and you have to pick those up as well as picking up a package of toilet paper that's neatly wrapped and has uh, graphics on it. The same tool may not be able to do both of those. So at JR, we like to know all of that. We're gonna look at all of those things so we can come up with uh, the right solution. Whether it's one tool, whether it's multiple tools, whether it's uh, doing things a different way than what they may have thought to do things, that's what we do at JR. Working with JR should be a relationship. Our goal as a company is not to have you come and purchase one piece of equipment and leave. Our goal is to be able to develop an understanding about you as the customer, develop an understanding of what your preferences are and how you do business. Because ultimately, JR isn't successful if our customer is not successful.